Hello friends, in this video, I will discuss about landing gear retraction system of a light aircraft. As the speed of the aircraft increases, the drag caused by the landing gear become greater and a means to retract the gear to eliminate parasite drag is required despite the weight of the mechanism. The primary benefit of being able to retract the landing gear are increased climb performance and higher cruise air speed due to the resulting decrease in the drag. Retractable landing gear system may be operated either hydraulically or electrically or may employ a combination of these two systems. So in this video, we will first discuss about electrically operated landing gear system. As you can see in this picture, an electrically operated landing gear system, it's, uh, it uses an electric motor and a gear reduction to move the landing gear. The rotary motion of the motor is converted to the linear motion to actuate the gear. This system is basically an electrically driven jack for raising and lowering the landing gear. When a switch in the flight deck is moved to the up position, the electric motors operate through a system of shaft, gear, adapters and actuator screw and a torque tube then a force is transmitted to the drag strut linkage, thus the gear retract and locks. Struts are also activated that open and close the landing gear's doors. And if the switch is moved to the down position, the motor reverses and the gear moves down and locks. Once activated, the gear motor continues to operate until an up or down limit switch on the motor gearbox is stripped. A more common use of electricity in gear retraction system is that of an electric hydraulic system found in many Cessna and Piper aircraft. This is also known as a power pack system. As you can see in this picture, a hydraulic power pack gear retraction system in the gear down condition. So these system consist of several component required in a hydraulic system. These include the reservoir, a reversible electric motor driven hydraulic pump, a filter, high and low pressure control valve, a thermal relief valve and a shuttle valve. Also this system consists of a uh, emergency hand pump in case of pump failure it supply the it supplies the fluid to the actuators to move the landing gear you can also see a pressure switch in this system and uh, the red line indicate the pressure line and the blue line indicate the return line this system also contain three actuator left main gear actuator right main gear actuators and the nose gear actuators so a hydraulic actuator for each gear is driven to extend or retract the gear by the fluid from the power pack. You can also see restrictors on the inlet and the outlet port of the nose gear actuators. So these restrictors are used to slow the movement of these lighter, uh, lighter nose gear. When the flight deck gear selection handle is put in the gear down position, a switch is made that turns on the electric motor in the power pack. So the motor turn in the direction to rotate the hydraulic gear pump so that it pumps fluid to the gear down side of the actuating cylinder. Pump pressure move the spring loaded shuttle valve to the left as you can see in this picture. So by moving the shuttle valve to the left it creates a passage that allow fluid to reach all the three actuators. While hydraulic fluid is pumped to extend the gear, fluid from the upside of the actuator return to the reservoir through the gear up check valve. When the gear reaches down and lock position, pressure build up in the gear down line from the pump and the low pressure control valve ups it to return the fluid to the reservoir. Electric limit switches turned off the motor when all the three gears are down and locked. Similarly, to raise the, uh, to raise the gear, uh, the flight deck gear handle is moved to the gear up position as you can see in this picture a hydraulic power pack gear retraction system in the gear up condition. So by raising the uh, gear handle to the up position, it sends current to the electric motor which drives the hydraulic gear pump in the opposite direction causing fluid to be pumped to the gear up side of the actuator. So in this direction, pump fluid flow through the filter, fluid from the pump flow through the gear up check valve to the gear up side of the actuating cylinder. As the cylinder begins to move, the piston releases the mechanical down lock that holds the gear rigid for ground operation. Fluid from the gear down side of the actuators return to the reservoir through the shuttle valve. When the three gears are fully retracted, 
pressure build up in the system and the pressure switch is open that cut the power to the electric pump motor the gear are held in the retracted position with hydraulic pressure and if pressure decline the pressure switch is closed to run the pump and raise the pressure until the pressure switch open again so this is how the power pack gear retraction system work in the gear up condition hope you understood please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you for watching